Welcome back everyone to my two left hands channel. Today we are making chili. Alright, so today's ingredient in this main ingredient in this chili is ground turkey. So go ahead in a medium skillet, add in some oil. You're gonna add in two pounds of ground turkey. Yeah, mix it in. And I'm just using a spatula because that's what helps me um, break it down into small pieces. All right, so once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and season a little bit of onion powder. Onion powder, we're just gonna put that in there. Onion, 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 onion. A teensy wincy bit of smoked pepper. Smoked paprika. A little bit a little bit of garlic just to take out that um a little bit of garlic just to take out that rawness of the meat and then I'm gonna add in my chili and All right, I'm adding in the second pack in, and you just want to make sure that you get every um, inch of the ground beef. Make sure you stir it in, and you don't see any gray parts of the meat you want to make sure that the meat is covered with season and make sure that it's basically like that reddish color while you're stirring it all in you want to make sure that you taste it and make sure that all the flavors are there and um tastes like how you want it to taste so as you can see i did add it in some salt and some pepper flakes so now we're gonna transfer this to our crock pot. But before you add it into your crock pot, just make sure that your crock pot is on the highest level and make sure it's preheated basically um, for about five minutes. What this does, it um, reduces the cooking time. So this recipe called for two hours for this chili to be made, cooked but for about an hour and a half or less. So now we're gonna add in our diced tomatoes. Two cans of diced tomatoes, actually. All right, add in the other one. Had a harder time with that one. And then now we're gonna add in our tomato sauce. We're gonna be adding two cans of tomato sauce. Go ahead and put that in there. And what I do with the tomato sauce, I add in a tip of water. Um, and I just basically kind of rinse out the can, uh, or not rinse it out, but like stir it around and then get the rest of the tomato sauce out of the can. And then I'm gonna add in some red kidney beans and I rinse off my kidney beans just to get that little gunk at the bottom out of it. All right, and then this one, I know some people are gonna highly disagree with this, but I'm gonna add in some corn. Yes, corn. I said it. We're gonna add in just about one can of corn into this recipe. I just have to make sure that this chili was a little healthy. So we have to add in some corn. Go ahead and stir that in. And you can leave your chili like just like this. Um, it will produce water itself while you're cooking it. You can just add in like a tip of water if you want to, but I just want this to be a little thick. So I'm just gonna leave it just like it is, cover it up, and we're gonna cook this for about an hour and a half. All right, so our chili is done. Go ahead and take the cover off. Just be careful because the cover was hot. <laughs> the cover was hot, so I think I'll burn myself. Look at that chili. And like I said, you, I don't know if you can see, we're gonna um, zoom in a little bit later, but you can actually see that the chili did produce its own water. Just 
stir that all in just make sure um, at this point like I've been saying before you want to try and see if everything came together if you still need to add in something more and at this point I did not need to add in nothing else nothing else it was perfect and I want you guys to get a little close up on this just to see I want you guys to get a little close up on this just to see how thick the chili was or see the consistency of this chili it was good it's, it's thick like I want it to be and this is very perfect if like especially for these cold days this chili is very good or if you're busy and you don't want to do a lot of cooking you can just do a, this simple easy chili recipe it takes an hour and a half it's simple right and i just have to let you guys see the bird's eye view of this because it was really good i had to make sure that you guys were seeing what i was seeing because this chili is really 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 good it's time to serve our chili um this chili can serve up to a family of four or more and this chili depending on how big your family is um this chili can last for either two days up to a week this chili basically serves for about a week all right look at that bowl of chili i do not know what you guys like to eat your chili with let me know in the comments what you like to eat your chili with i like to eat it with cheese and i also have some honey corn muffins in the oven right now we're gonna enjoy this give this video a thumbs up and let me know how i did with this video this is a very simple chili like i stated if you guys want me to make another type of chili let me know see you next time